very much for turning back in. My name is Fonny. In my channel, I talk about my houseplants and my Hoyas. Today, it is a very exciting video that I am going to show you an unboxing of the third order I got from LV Garden. I'm really happy to show you this Hoyas that I obtained from LV. Before I dig into the unboxing, I would like to tell you a little bit of background um, and expectation that uh, we can have before I show you this. I have no idea how it looks like. That's the reason why I want to tell you the information that I know before I unboxed it. Start off with a communication. I am very happy that LB Garden has been very consistent when it comes to the speed and frequency of communication. Every time when I ask him a question, normally he comes back around 30 minutes afterwards. Of course, you can't expect at the time when he's sleeping to respond to you, but to be fair, I asked him multiple questions about different species, if he has that kind, if he has this kind. He always just come back really quickly. And he's also really honest. When he has it, he will just tell you. When he doesn't have it, he just tell you he won't, instead of giving you false hope. Um, so that part I'm very happy about. And another thing about the communication is he's very flexible when it comes to the special information that you need. Um, for example, for my situation, I need the phytosanitary certificate uh, copy uh, to upload to the agriculture department before this uh, parcel present to the custom. So he just uh, sent me the phytosanitary certificate uh, when he received it. So that's uh, really, really nice. And with regard to the second part, the shipping, I am very, very, very excited about the speed of the shipping. He used uh, all the time DHL Express. It only took four days from the day he sent this parcel out until I got it. So today is Monday. I got it within four days without any delay. So this is absolutely encouraging. And then um, the third part about the information that he shares with me. So what I really want uh, to know is before he ship the package, I want to see how the plant's condition are. So it's also a really good indicator for you to know if the plant has shipped out really unhealthily or the plant has shipped out really freshly. So this is really good for both sides. Um, good for him to show me what he has packed in and good for me to have an expectation when I receive it. So in this unboxing, you will see side by side the picture that he shared with me just before he boxed into the package. And I'll show you the another side what arrived like. So this is very, very transparent, um, nothing I'm trying to hide. And once again, I'm not sponsored. It's just really nice to get plants from him because so far the three times that I had, it's just, I think it's really reliable in the sense that he just sent me everything uh, really on time um, in accordance to what he promised. And he also showed me how he packaged. And I also saw one of his update um, story and how he prepared uh, the plant. I can show you in the side here. So he prepared the plant before he pops in to the package. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy about that. Last part before I forget, this parcel is very, very exciting because it include 19 Hoyas, three plants that I have obtained from LB Garden before. Two of them are replacement, one of them are repurchase. So essentially, um, LB promised that if any plant arrived um, dead or on the edge of dying, he will replace it. And so far, he has always been living up to this promise. So the Lauterbachia, if you remember, I can put in a clip. Um, when I unboxed it, it just came out a bare stem because all of the leaves just dropped off after I unboxed it. So that one, he promised to replace one plant for me. Another one is the Sarisana. Um, it was very weak at the time when it arrived. It didn't die immediately, but then after I think a week or two, it just did not make it. Um, and uh, I can also show you the footage of how that looked like. I shared that uh, picture uh, with Elby and then he said that, yes, he can replace it. So 
So I'm very happy about that. Let's see if that's included here. And um, third one is the Hoya cleticii subspecies Collyriata. I got two parts of that. So, well, I got one plant out of it, but I chopped it into two pots. I traded one with Camilla and I kept one for myself. Unfortunately, that one died after a very healthy growth and it was really sad. And I, of course, I'm not going to ask for a replacement because at the time when it arrived, it's really healthy and it even pushed out a lot of new growth. So I just want to purchase it back from LP. So those are the three plants that you've seen before, but there are 16 new species that are obtained. And of these 16 new species, many of them actually are new published Hoya in 2022. So don't leave until you watch the full video because you probably could see some new species that I'm sharing with you in the video and um, I'm very excited to see it because I haven't really seen anybody showing um, these new species on the video or on YouTube. I have seen the publication uh, on paper but I'm really really happy and I really hope these uh, survived and I think that's it. Before you move on, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out next time when I post it similar content. If you like this type of content and you want me to purchase more Hoyas than I can show you in the unboxing, don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. So this can encourage me to buy more Hoyas with my own money and spend more money and I have a cash problem. But uh, not a problem for today. Um, maybe I'll take a pulse because now it's winter, entering winter. So let's see. Without further ado, let's take a look together in this unboxing. Now let's reveal how that looks like. This one is much easier to unpack. Like this. Careful. Okay, I can feel the moist. moist. It's very nicely packaged. Seriously, it's really nicely packaged. Guessing better each time in the packaging. Like this. Okay, let's dig into this. Ooh, I can see some stems. I can see some yellow leaves. Ooh, ah. I know what is this one. This one is Sorisana. It's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad because Sorisana is not the easiest because the one that I got before died, isn't it? So Sorisana is not very friendly when it comes to shipping. But you can see that it looks really nice for one stem. This is super healthy. It's just this stem over here has yellowed off, but I believe the stem itself is still very stiff, so I am not too worried about this one. And Sarisana, this plant is huge, so I'm not worried about this. Let's have a look at the close-up of the leaf. Unfortunately, as I showed you in the other clip, the leaf has yellowed off and you see that one already dropped off. But uh, the stem, it's very stiff. So I'm confident that the stem itself is um, alive. So let's see if I chopped it here, even though it's a bare stem, sometime it works. And as I showed you in Camilla's video, um, I mean Camilla's cutting video, it could work but of course that is a much um, healthy plant because there's no transit but uh, these ones are very healthy leaves i'm not very uh, worried about getting something out of this plant it's look it's huge thank you very much lb i i appreciate that okay that's uh untangle. Ooh, wow Lovely. These roots are actually really nice. I can feel it. And also you see that it is not dried up. It is actually a life roots. That's impressive. I really hope that I can see flowers of Surisana, but with this one, I have high hope that this will make it for sure, for at least some 
settings, not the ones that dropped off. But uh, absolutely incredible. Oh, look at the fig leaves. Oh, so excited about this. Wow, this is so much bigger than I thought. Super nice to have this surprise. Right, this one here is the new species that is published this year is Hoya capuensis. Capua it's uh, it is mentioned that it's quite similar to something, but I uh, I don't think it's similar to anything that I own because it's so fuzzy. It's it's not fuzzy like um, Thomsonii fuzz, but it's hairy like short short hair very beautiful very beautiful condition now i can show you the close-up what i meant by this is something i have not owned and i did not expect the leaf looks like this first off it's so big it's like the size of my hand and also the leaf is quite thin you see that on the side and if you look at the back side Backside is very um, hairy. You see that? Maybe this one. You see the hair? It's very short hair, but you can definitely feel it. And um, it's just really, really beautiful. And then on the front, again, you have the vein and you also have a velvety texture. Try to focus. Nice. That shine and this mid rib, and then you have the vein. Oh, does not look like a real leaf. And it's also really dark green. It's going to take hours to unwrap everything. Yes, there are some... These ones, these ones are life roots because you see it's really stiff and it's white. So there are lots of roots in this one too. Wonderful. All right. Apparently, Hoya about Lauterbarkii is not a very easy shipper. This one, although only have been in the box for three days, it also have yellow leaf, but it is really healthy when it comes to the stem. It's uh, very stiff. So Hoya Lauterbarkii, I am hoping that I can have a few cuttings chopped off and to have a secure plant. But thank you so much, LB, that you made up to your promise that you have this um, replacement plant for me, Surisana and Lartobachii. It's uh, it's really nice when a seller kept the promise and you can be very happy to purchase from them. Let's have a look at the root. As you can see in the close-up, the bottom one has yellowed off and um, the upper one is quite soft, but um, the stem itself is very very stiff so i am confident in this being able to reroot i uh, just need to take some propagation i like how it is packaged as well now they're not using um, the tape so it's much easier for me to remove and they also name these ones now it has a name tag which is absolutely amazing i really like buying hoyas from lb garden it's just to me at least um from my experience it's really reliable and things just get better uh touch wood things are still good um and i know that every time when you're importing something you should always kind of have um mindset that if you're buying a chance you're not buying a plant and um because a lot of things are out of control from either uh, the buyer or the seller. So let's just hope it turned out good. And I'm so happy that this turned out pretty good, if not very, very good. Let's see. Please, some root, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yes, it does. 
Ooh, nice. It does have some roots. It's kind of dried up, but not bad. This one is a very thin leaf Hoya. This is SS180. It gives me um, a slight feeling from the flower. Um, it looks slightly like the Sanamunanianis. Yeah, the one that is really difficult to pronounce. I can show you on the side what I meant because the flower looks very similar. But um, this one is relatively thin in the leaf, but uh, I'm sure that it will be fine because the new growth points still look extremely fresh. Very, very beautiful, very big plant. So let's take a look at the roots. But before that, I can show you the close up of the leaf of this one. This one is Hoya SS180. You see that? This is a very, very thin leaf Hoya. And uh, that's why I chose to pull it up right away. All right, let's take a look at how the roots turned out. Please give me some root. All right, fine, it's okay. There's no roots, but uh, it's not a problem. The stem is extremely fresh, so it's not a problem to root it. I just need to pop into water right away, but uh, it's not uncommon and I would say it's expected when roots doesn't come in at all because it's an uh, import. Ooh, this one I'm so excited about. It's still very nice. This one is another new species, Hoya polypus. The flower looks like octopus. I'm not sure if that's how they got the name, but I am extremely, extremely excited to see this flower. It's just a little bit soft. It's a uh, very nice, very healthy. It feels firm on this one. This one feels a bit dehydrated, but it's very normal after you have been in the box for even four days. It's four days, a couple of hours, if not a lot of hours. You see the close up of the shiny leaf. This one reminds me a little bit of Scortagini, but a rounder version. It is so nice. The newest leaves just looks like the Star Trek or the Milky Way. And this one is much stiffer. This one, I think this is the older, oldest leaf. And uh, let's have a look at the roots. Maybe some at the bottom. Yeah, whoa. Whoa, okay, there are more stuff happening here, but um, wow, <laughs> I think it put a lot like this, dried up roots, but uh, I think I'll cut it here. It's not that great to have too much stem, but the leaf, it's very healthy. So let's, let's hope I can see flower from this one. Ooh, so cute. This one here is a new species that LB recommended me and I am happy and excited to try this out. This one is a uh, no ID yet. It is having really beautiful flowers and it has round leaf. It reminds me of Mirumi Cooper, of the leaf shape. However, this one is not just having elongated leaf shape. Some of them are even more like a leaf shape and this one is a round leaf shape so it is very different let's take a look at the roots Ooh. okay well there are some roots this is really good even though it's not a lot it is yeah it is stiff i would say maybe but this one is a life Ooh, look at this one. This one is really, really healthy. This one is Hoya Papua. Um, this is another Papua, but um, it doesn't have a name yet. But the flower, it's so cute. Um, well, I would say it's very special. It's very strange because it's very, very elongated and thin. Um, uh, corolla. So I look forward to see this flower, but I love the leaf as well is very thin 
not so thin like Lautibaki, but it's uh, it's not very thick. And also, I love tiny, like thin tendrils. The leaf is very healthy. Look into this shiny gloss, and I think at the back is slightly fuzzy as well. And um, pretty sure that one is nothing. Extra alert with mealy bugs. But I have a lot. It's not something that I have to prohibit. And of course, this one does not have any pest, supposedly, when it comes through. So I do not expect any pest. But I have not experienced any pest from LB Gardens uh, Hoya. So the track record is really, really good. Okay. Wow. Nice. Look at those greenish roots. Those ones are stiff and I can tell it is alive and the stem itself is super alive. Very nice texture. Close up with this beautiful roots. Okay, this one is a small one, I guess. It's really nicely packaged. It's just, I, I mean, I, I really appreciate that. Ooh. This one is a different species. Um, I know you will say that oh, it looks just like what I had, uh, which is the SP Papua with the star shaped like flowers. But if you look into detail, if you look closer, this one is super hairy and the shape is slightly different. I can show you, of course, in the close up to tell you it is different than the small leaf SP Papua that I have, but it's absolutely adorable. Let's take a look at this one. As I showed you, or as I told you, this one looks very similar to the SP Pabwa that I have, but it is different. First, this one is from Sulawesi. It's a different location. Second, you see that the hair is on both sides, which is different from the Pabwa that I have showed you and I have bought from LB before. Let's see if this small one also have some root, hopefully. Okay, reveal, reveal, reveal. Roots, please, some roots. Some roots. Yes, some roots. And it is a live root. You see that? It's fresh and it is stiff. Wonderful. That's amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, this one. This one is the very expensive and rare one that everyone are trying to sell it in a very high price. Um, well, at least the seller that I have contacted, but uh, I just really believe in LB's packaging and also quality, so I... Oh my God, this is so good quality. I'm so glad I got this one. Wow, this one is so beautiful. It's so delicate. Uh, this one looks like Hoya amicubilis, but the small leaf form. At least that's what I thought. But apparently it does not look like amicubilis at all. The leaf is very elongated with a very defined mid rib. The flowers are absolutely incredible. Forgot to tell you, this one is Hoya sp. Siddika, Siddika Lang. So it is from the place called Siddika Lang, and that's why it's uh, called SP Siddika Lang. Absolutely wonderful, so cute. I saw this one the first time in Camilla's home. Um, she told me that she got some Hoyas from Indonesia and when I saw this one, I said to myself, um, I would like to have one of these. This is so beautiful small leaf it's very elongated and i also saw that when you sun stress it it will have this color the entire thing will become that color uh, yeah well yes 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 there are some roots you see this one is a healthy root is very stiff and also this one is nothing. <laughs> this one's not a melee bug, that's fine. Yeah, that's some roots. 
yeah more than I thought very very good okay this is another wish list plant that I have but I did not manage to get it locally nor from Camilla nor from other online store because the price is just way up there but when I asked Elby about this one, he told me that he will try and find one and then he found it and I showed you this one in Camilla's Hoya tour. Unfortunately, the new leaf has dropped off, which is understandable because as long as the main stem is alive, then that's okay. And uh, they also have a flower bud, but the bud has dropped off, if you can see that. I'm going to try to zoom in and show you. Oh wow, but uh, the leaf is really, really good. Yes, can you tell the name of this one? This is Hoya Classicolis. It's so beautiful and the leaf, it's firm. Oops, yeah, well, no, huh? there is. There is some nice roots. Wow, wonderful. Did not expect that I thought it's gonna be a cutting. This is wonderful. Wow, this one is beautiful. The leaf is much nicer than I thought. And it's so, so healthy. Right, where is it? Okay, it's not from here. Wow. This is incredible. Careful, careful. This one is another new species that is published this year and to be fair, the leaves are so firm, so healthy. Oh, the stem is extremely healthy as well. This one is Hoya sanguinensis, a new species that is identified, or well, published, not identified. Um, and it has really interesting, fuzzy, furry flowers. I can show you on the side, so then you know about this new published Hoya. This one, what I mentioned is it is so beautiful in the leaf shape. I said this to all Hoyas, <laughs> unfortunately I have limited vocabularies. You can see that um, the shape of the leaf is slightly different than the ones that I've showed you. It is more like an oval shape, but then it has a pointy end. And each leaf is quite thick, but to take this one as an example, you can see the, again it's velvety. All of these leaves just looks like an ethereum kind of velvety coloration. And the back side is smooth. It doesn't have any hair. And also, I want to show you this one close up. It actually rooted. See, this one is a fresh root. That one is a fresh root. They rooted <laughs> inside the box. Quite incredible if you think about this. The box is dark and then it rooted inside a dark box with extra humidity. I think it's from the wrapping around, but this is obviously new roots that pushed out inside the box. This is for sure a plant that is easy to ship because it does not show any sign of decline. Okay, let's see. I would, I would expect it has a lot of roots because even inside the dark box, it has pushed out air roots in the stem. Ooh. A lot of roots as I anticipated. Look at this. This is not sphagnum moss. This is all roots. Oh my god. No wonder this plant is so healthy. This root inside the sphagnum moss, I believe it definitely supported itself. Still, I'm going to give you a water soak. Maybe I can go with this one first. I already know what this is. This one is the dupe that I bought again, Hoya curtisii subspecies corleariata. Wow, great quality, really good quality. It's nice that um, 
it packs like this. I think it grows like this and then it just send out like this, which is great. So then the roots at least is not disturbed too much. Well, then I have to think about how to remove it. <laughs> Let's see. But uh, I'm happy that I got this again and hopefully this time I will manage to keep it growing. All right, I show you back this one. I have washed it off. I soaked it into water first, so then the sphagnum has expanded and it's much easier to remove the dry root from the sphagnum moss, so then I can hopefully preserve as much root as possible. As you can see that there are life roots that are attached in the existing sphagnum moss, which is brilliant. And I would say this plant is very healthy, even though it does not look like that when you come to the stem. It looks very dried with this weird cat coloration, but in fact, this is really healthy because it is very stiff and at the same time, the leaf is very plumped. So what I will do is I will do my usual trick. I will do, uh, plant it horizontally. I'll chop it like this, chop it like that, maybe chop it like that here. So then I make different cuttings so then I can propagate it separately. So then each of the propagation will potentially have new growth point. Ooh, huge one here. Wow, look at the leaves. It's, is that even real? The coloration is like transparent purple. This is insane. Wow. This is Boom Top Gensis. First, I noted this one from Camilla. Um, she mentioned about a silver version. And then I did a quick search. Um, the silver version is unfortunately out of my budget, but this one also has some splash. And the coloration is, I mean, it's beyond explanation. It's so red, so pretty. Mm, can't wait to throw this. This Boon Togensis, under the light in the close-up, now you probably understand what I meant by the coloration looks unreal. It looks a bit transparent, but you can see, you almost can see through the leaf. And the coloration is very, very pretty. This purple in this size of leaf, it reminds me of Christmas tree or Christmas flower, perfect timing. <laughs> and this Christmas flower will not die off after Christmas, hopefully, fingers crossed, but uh, so beautiful. The growth pattern is really compact. I believe it's going to be like a bushy tree. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, wow. Quite some roots the stem this i don't think i can propagate mm, because it is so short here you see so i will need to take a risk to just pop this up and see how it goes because this is the main stem and the node here is way too short to do anything about it so wish me luck on buntok gensis look again the color, insanely beautiful purple. This one over here is Hoya Uncinata. It looks very similar to Ruthie with the flowers like very long, um, with very long corolla. But um, I would like to have one of this because the flower looks very nice, um, even though it looks similar to Ruthie, but uh, the leaves are super succulent and look at this stem, so big, very, very impressive sizing. Unicinata is a huge plant that LB sold to me and you can see that it is all the way down there. I will chop this one into a lot of different pieces. There's a lot of leaves, a lot of nodes. Let's see if it has a lot of roots as well. Okay. Wow, well, there's actually three stem. 
There's a lot of roots. This one is a bit dried. Um, I think most of them are dead for the smaller one, but it's a lot of dense root surrounded the main root. Wow, I have a lot of plant. Well, I have a lot of plant to begin with, but uh, this is really healthy. That's all right. I think these ones may, may be gone. But this then, I will check when I cut it. But um, this one here is Hoya SP Calbar. It has purple, pinkish, transparent flower. That's the reason why I wanted this one because of the really beautiful flower. I suspect these ones will go, um, but I can cut the stem and see. Whoa, there's actually a root over here. So I, I'm pretty sure this one is alive. I can show you some close up. There's a root grown, a fresh root grown inside the package. This one, Calbar, is very thick in the leaf. These ones look really, really healthy. The bottom one looks like it does not go through any shipping stress. These ones as well, except from one that yellowed out. The furthest one, unfortunately, I think these ones will be a gone. But I can chop this stem and see. But, uh, this stem is relatively wooden type of stem. Okay, let's have a look at the roots. Mm, I think most of these has dried up. Maybe, maybe not this one in the middle because it's stiff. I need to estimate how much root I need to chop up on this one because it looks pretty dead in my opinion but it has three node and more so i am confident to hopefully <laughs> have one set at least surviving very nice leaf and extremely beautiful flowers this is a huge plant even though i see leaves dropping but I believe this plant, I could take some cuttings and to pot it in a multiple way. This one here is Hoya Mini SP Keller Mountain. I saw this one uh, on um, Instagram a lot. It looks very similar uh, when I first looked at it as uh, Carmele because of the coloration of the sun stressing. But now looking at it, it's it does not look like Carmele because of the elongated leaf shape, but uh, I'm confident to yeah, I'm confident to chop this up and have at least a few a life stem. It's just the coloration looks a little bit over sun stressed. Not sure. Hopefully, all good with this. This is a huge plant, um, like like really huge. This has the leaf, as I told you. It is not unhealthy. It's just that the way that it's sun-stressed is kind of patchy. So it's not exactly like what I expected, like the um, Carmele, which has a very even sun-stress. But uh, let's take a look at the roots. I believe this one I need to chop it in many different pieces because it's a, it is almost impossible. I would say it's out of question impossible to have one of this go through all of them um, because I suspect there are any root left. <laughs> this is just sphagnum. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. This is actually more than I thought. It's quite a lot of roots. Look at that. Thick stem with a bunch of roots. So I will chop this one into say five or six pieces and put it into a pot. But, uh, very promising root system. Did not expect seeing this. Still coming in, so still coming in. There's totally 19, as I said. Ooh, this one, this one, I noted it a while. Well, let's see, this, ooh, this one is another new species. This one here is Hoya Peltata. It looks similar to Curtisi subspecies Colorata on the shape, but 
the texture is very different as far as I noted from pictures. Let's see. Oh my god, these are crazy cute. Wow, this peltata is crazy small. It's quite succulent. It's, it's extremely rounded. It looks similar to Curtisi. As I mentioned, these two looks very similar. The one to the left is Peltata. The one to the right is Curtisii Coloriata. The leaf size is very similar, but the texture is completely different. The Peltata is more shiny and rounded. The Coloriata, it's a bit more pointy on the end and it's much thicker. Let's uh, unwrap this Peltata. ish but it's dried up so i need to i need to be very careful with this one when i root it okay this one is another new species that published this year this one here is hoya kaiko ensis it reminds me um of squirt um of the leaf shape and also the kind of texture of the leaf. Um, however, it is much larger uh, than my Scorchagini. I also saw that in the publication it says that it is kind of assembling Scorchagini, but um, it's a new species, so I would love to get it and see it in person. And it's so beautiful. I love this kind of thin stem Hoya. Let's take a look at the close-up of the leaf. This looks like Scorchagini large form but um, the coloration is very nice it's velvety and it also have some patches of splash it's not dirt it is patches of splash because that one also have and there's a new growth here and it looks very nice actually for this growth point it looks fresh okay you have to be careful Mmm, it does have some thick roots, looks like some of them are alive, amazing. Oh, I'm so happy about this one. Look at the close-up, the leaf is so shiny, I mean velvety on the side, if you see that? Kind of velvet. Also, there's some vein as well on the side. Look, it's magic, magic. Ooh, look at this velvety texture. Okay, last one over here. This one is Hoya Versteki. This is a Hoya that I noted again from Miro. Very bad influence in buying new Hoyas and just Really good recommendation. All of this Hoyas that he recommended is just out of the question, amazing. I saw that and I think it's such a nice addition. So maybe I can buy a Vers Begi and see how that looks like. It's so nice. It reminds me of the texture of uh, Patella because it has fuzzy back and also the stem is wooden. Wow, this is look that grow inside. Did you see that? I can show you some close-up. They are actually growing in this box. It's incredible, 10 out of 10. I heard that it only have this uh, wavy edge when the leaf become mature or the plant become mature. This one here is still not having that wave yet, but I really like the leaf shape again. I say this all the time. It is much larger than patella, but um, the leaf is dark green in color. I look very forward to see that wave. I also noted this one has grown air roots inside the dark box. You see this one here. Air roots are pushed out in the box in tr during transit. So I, I believe this one is a very easy plant to ship. And I also think 
this will have quite a lot of root based on the easiness for the root to grow in darkness. Okay, wow, you see? That's what I mentioned. Because it's so easy to grow roots, look at these juicy roots. This one is for sure life. And it's a very dense root system. Okay, looking super forward to have our steggy eye. Thank you very much to stay until now. I wish you enjoyed the unboxing and also sharing the footage of the unwrapping of the roots of all of the 19 Hoyas. Again, I'm very, very happy with the quality, the communication and also the speed of shipping by LB Garden. I know that I'm by pure luck with the shipping because this is the thing that is out of my hand, out of LB Garden's hand. It's basically purely rely on the DHL Express and also relying on the custom. Of course, it depends on country by country how difficult it is to just get the process through as soon as possible. But um, in my experience this time, I'm very happy to tell you that I'm happy to know about LB Garden. I am happy that they are consistently good in communication and consistently well in the packaging. I would say each time they improved it every single time. First time they didn't have a particular wrapping of the plant. They had this box and then they used this um, fluffy cotton to separate different plant. Second time they packed it with paper and this time they packed it with tissue paper. And I would say that they give an extra step to even tag each of the plants because they normally don't do it. And I'm not complaining before because I kind of remember all of the plants that he sent me and particularly when he sent me the picture of the plant before shipping. So I hope you also enjoy the part of showing you the comparison of the picture he showed me and also the plant turned out after four days in transit. It is completely transparent and um, again, I have to stress I'm not sponsored. I talk a lot of good things about LB Garden because I'm just genuinely really happy with the results that I have and I'm just really excited to pot all of this up. Now it's quite late at night and I'm still going to have a lot to do because I need to pot it up and to put it in the acclimation uh, environment. If you want to know how I acclimate, how I cut, how I root and how I grow these cuttings or how I propagate some of these import. You can check out my video that I've just recently posted. This is the tutorial I'm referring to, the Rooting of Hoya 101. It's a step-by-step -step guide that I have uh, in my experience showing you how I acclimate my Hoyas and also how I cut the cuttings um, when you receive Hoyas. So I hope that will be helpful uh, for you uh, to learn a little bit more of my side of the story, how I keep my Hoyas. I'm not saying that I'm an expert in Hoyas, absolutely far from that, but I just really want to share what I know about Hoyas and I hope that people who like Hoyas could have higher success based on the experience that I have. The experience that I have is based on the observation from other people and also the observation that I try to understand what a plant would prefer. So all in all, I hope the videos I'm posting are helpful for you. And do let me know in the comment box down below which one out of the 19 are your favorite. You can have more than one and you can just uh, drop your comment down below so then we can discuss further. If you have any of these Hoyas and you would like to share the care tips that you have to tell me a little bit more about your care tips to increase my success rate of any of these Hoya, please also be generous to leave your comment down below. If you like this video and you would like me to buy more Hoyas to show you unboxing video, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out next time when I post similar content or anything related to plant care and other house plant. Until next time, I wish everyone is having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.